Welcome to Get to Know Metro. I'm your host, Michelle Spaziano. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today, I'll be talking with Sergeant Michael Eby of the Metro Nashville Police Department's Mounted Patrol. Basically, it's a part of the police department that patrols on horses. Well, hello, Sergeant Eby. Thank you so much for joining us on Get to Know Metro. I guess one of the first questions I would want to start off with is, how long has the Mounted Patrol been in place here in Nashville? The Mounted Patrol was established in 1998, so we've been around for about 15 years. Wow, 15 years. And how many horses does the uh, patrol unit have? We currently have eight horses that we use. Um, there are 10 that we take care of. One is with the state parks, and the other is a retired horse. Okay, and is there a certain type of horse you use to yeah, patrol we, with? Yeah, uh, we use Tennessee walking horses. Oh, okay. They're all registered Tennessee walking horses. Now they don't do that funky walk, do they? No, no. <laughs> okay. They have a little bit of it, but it's not like you see in the show. Now why do you use those type of horses? We use t those type of horses for a couple of reasons. One, the gait is very smooth, so it makes it a lot more comfortable for the rider on long periods of time on the horse, and also their demeanor. It's a very gentle demeanor. Very gentle horses. Plus the fact that it is the state's horse. <laughs> That's so. true. Um, well, now when you say gait, you mean it's, it's walk. Yeah, it's okay. strong. That's for all you people that aren't familiar with horse lingo. Uh, do the officers have to have uh, experience with horses prior, or do they just go through training uh, to learn how to ride the horses? No, no riding experience is required. It doesn't hurt, but no is re none is required. Uh, they do get trained. We, once they come to the unit, there's a minimum 150 hours of training they have to go through. That's a minimum. It could be, go longer depending on each rider because each person is different and so you may need a little more time. Okay. And do the officers volunteer for the unit or are they assigned to the unit? It's a, it's a what you do is after you're an officer for three years, you have to be okay. a patrol officer for three years, you can request a, an assignment to this unit. Mm -hmm. uh, when there's an opening, there has to be an opening okay. spot. And once there is, uh, there's a selection process just like any other specialized unit, and it's uh, someone selected off of that process. Oh, I see. I know from the canine unit, when we did our story on the canine unit, that the dogs are very costly. Like one dog was $8,000. I mm -hmm. can't even imagine how much it would cost for one horse. Could you tell us? Well, all our horses are donated. What? Oh, donated? All our horses wow. are donated. So nice. we do not pay for the horses. Who donates the horses? There's a lot of breeders in the area, and these, these horses are those that are, they're not quite show quality, because most people want a show quality walking horse. Right. Then you have some people that maybe need to um, cut back their herd, or as many horses they have, so they'll, they'll give one away, or they just do it because they can no longer afford to take care of the horses themselves. Do the horses go through training as well as the policemen? Yes, they do. How long is the training? Uh, the training can be anywhere from six months to a year wow. or more, depending on the horse, because again, they're living creatures and they all have their own different uh, personalities. Once the officers accept into the unit, do they get to pick the horse they want, or is it kind of like they match up personalities, or are they just assigned a horse? Well, most of them are already uh, assigned by the time somebody comes here, because it's, again, you have to have an opening, but um, when we go out to look for a horse, if there's a horse that's getting ready to retire, whoever's horse is getting ready to retire, may go with me and one of the training officers to uh, look at the horse to see, and they could probably get, they'll probably get the next horse that comes available. Oh, okay. And you had mentioned when the horse is ready to retire, where do they go after they've fulfilled their duty here at the police department? Well, there's a there's a couple of things ways places they can go. One. The officer that has ridden them has first choice, and he can uh, keep them if he has the facilities, if he has the land, the stable, the yard, and all that. Uh, if not, then it's open to uh, any other person in the unit, and then any other uh, person with the within the department, and then finally open to the uh, citizens. If he is taken by a police officer, retired or current police officer, then Metro Council passed an ordinance that says they will pay for the feed, the vet, and the farrier bill for the rest of its life. 
Now, is there a mounted patrol in every city, or is it only the big cities that maybe have events that are, you know, going to have a lot of people on the streets? Uh, there's not a mount in every city. There's several cities that are. One thing that makes ours different from most other big cities is that we actually allow people to come up and pet the horse with us and stand with us and take pictures where other oh. cities won't allow that. All right. So tell us why is it necessary to have a mounted unit, mounted patrol? Well, the Mounted Patrol does several things. One, it's community relations, a lot of community relations for us. We do a lot of events, we go out, and uh, it kind of helps people to be more comfortable, come talk to police officers, and it kind of opens up that window of communication so that we can move on from there. Um, but also, it gives us an advantage, first off, visual. When we're out in a big crowd, in a, in at a big event where there's a lot of people, we can be seen a lot better. The, so if uh, somebody needed help, they could maybe Yeah, right like, like CMAs, for example. <laughs> when all the, the streets were full of visitors and people and all that, you, you couldn't see down low, but you could see all of us riding around because we're higher up. Plus, we can see what's going on a lot better. We have right. a better visibility so that we can look out over the crowd and see uh, if something's going on that we need to respond to, and then we respond because we are police officers, so we will do police work. Right. Well, um, now tell us some of the stuff you're going to show us today. I know you got a group of guys together that not only the policemen on the horses, but some other gentlemen that are going to be helping us with demonstrations. All so right. tell us some about some of the demonstrations. A couple of things we're going to try to show today. Uh, one of the big things about a uh, the mounted patrol unit is crowd control. A one mounted officer is equal to 10 officers on the on foot really so when it comes to controlling a crowd we can we are can push a crowd or get a crowd to go whatever direction we want it to go uh, to like say again downtown late at night we have a large crowd on the on the street and you got somebody fighting or something going on we can come in and spread the crowd out so the officers can respond and, and take care of what's going on so one of the things we're going to show is how we can move a crowd, uh, a disorderly crowd, down and where we want it to go, and like in front of a business. And the other thing we're going to show as far as the, that scenario is we'll have two people acting like they're fighting and we'll show how we can not only break up the fight, but also the bystanders that like to yeah. zone in, you know, like at school when you used to have fight. Yeah, keep it going. crowd comes in, they'll come in and they'll get the crowd back at the same time. So we'll show those okay. two things there. Okay. Um, and that's what we have the role players for. Okay, great. Uh, is there anything that I didn't ask that you'd like to share with us about the Mounted Patrol or the um, horses? Or? Well, let's see. We have a Facebook page, so anybody oh. that would like to go to uh, Metropolitan Nashville Mounted Patrol and like us on Facebook. Metropolitan. Uh, Nashville, Nashville Mounted Patrol. Mounted Patrol. Go like them on Facebook. Go like us on Facebook. <laughs> That's one. And um, if you want to donate a horse, we always like to let everybody know what we're looking for in a horse. Uh, all our horses have to be at least four years old and not more than eight. Okay. It has to be 15.2 hands. We only use geldings. So, so for the people that don't know the horse lingo, tell them what a gelding it's, is. It's a male gelding that has been fixed. Neutered. Neutered. <laughs> fixed. Is that what they call it? Neutered. Yes. Fixed. Oh. Same thing. <laughs> um, so we only use males, and it keeps commotion down in the in the stable. Uh, Oh, and so because if you had female horses, the male horses would get there, a little. Yeah, there would be oh, a lot of ruckus in the stable. That's very interesting. See, I wouldn't have thought to ask that. So, I don't know if I asked this uh, or not, but can you tell us some of the events that you do use the Mounted Patrol for? Some of the larger events, we were down at CMA Festival. I saw you there. We were down at Dancing in the District. Um, we are down at all the Titans games. We work around the parking lot so we can see over the okay. cars and make sure there's no problems there. Uh, the New Year's Eve bash we're down there for that uh, we were at uh, the music city marathon oh okay so we were was we there were any part of that. Incident? nope <laughs> they, it was nice and oh, smooth oh good rainy good. Good but hear, smooth good to hear that okay well thank you i'm excited to see some of these demonstrations that you have planned okay. for us um, so stick around we'll be right back hey <laughs> hey what are you doing Hey, who is he? Oh, 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 they really no. think we're going to move. Hey, I'm moving. Hey, 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 hey,
Sergeant Evie, my heart is pounding right now. I must say that was pretty intimidating, but I sure am proud of the whole Mounted Patrol because I'll tell you what, you don't listen to these guys and the horses, you're going down. They're going to run right over you. That was an amazing demonstration. Uh, I have to ask you this. Have you ever had to chase anybody on a horse or, I mean, somebody that really resisted, even with the horse, maybe they were drunk and they didn't? Oh, we had one run a couple weeks ago, uh, myself. Uh, Sergeant, Car I mean Officer Cawthorn and uh, Officer Edwards chased him down Second Avenue. Really? Now, what about the horses when they're running on the cement? I would think they would be kind of sliding. Uh, they have special uh, horseshoes made. Um, they have uh, carbon BBs on the front and titanium BBs on the back, and it helps keep them from sliding. Kind of like studs on a tire mm -hmm. for snow or something. Yeah, oh, and it helps like them that. not to slide. But it helps grip. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Um, well, I must say, I, I'm looking forward to these other demonstrations, but I don't want that horse too close to me. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> well, hey there, we're back, and I'm standing here with Officer Edwards, who is going to be telling us all about what Sergeant E.B. is uh, going to be demonstrating. I guess he's going to be doing 12 different demonstrations. Is that right? That's correct. And what the demonstrations do, they're an obstacle course that uh, we go through. When we get new horses, they have to be uh, well balanced in different type of areas. And when we ride downtown, we encounter a lot of different surfaces. And these obstacles prepare us to encounter those, op uh, those surfaces as we're on patrol. Um, there's a tarp that makes a lot of noise when we ride over it. A lot of horses want to run away from danger. Yeah, and, get spooked, right? Right. And when we go over the obstacles, they hear that noise. We get them trained so that they stay on top of it and they proceed forward. Because like mm -hmm. police officers, we have to run to danger, not run away from it. So right. that's not natural for a horse. So all of this training helps prepare those uh, horses for this uh, stuff that we encounter when we go downtown. No, I was just saying, you know, it's quite hot in here. And a lot of times you guys are out in the sun and mm -hmm. the elements of the weather. How do you guys keep the horses, you know, hydrated and... Horses are built of muscle and water, and uh, they rely heavily on water. However, they can work for a good while without it. Um, we usually normally work them one to two hours on the street at a time, and then when we're not on the street, we go back to our trailer that's stationed just a little ways from where we are, and we'll, let, we'll get off, let them have water, get some hay, and they'll take a break for about 30 or 45 minutes before oh, we mount good. back up. So every couple hours, they actually get a 30-minute break. That's oh, right. That's nice so we can, we can go for a long time. Being an animal lover, I always ask those questions. Oh, they're well taken care of. We take care of them uh, way before we take care of ourselves. Wow. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so should we take a look and see what... Sure. All right, so I guess the first demonstration, if you want to explain what this is going to be. Sure. Uh, this demonstration, we have noodles set up. Uh, they don't look scary to humans, but they are to horses, and that gets them used to having things on both sides of them. Uh, the next obstacle, we have the teeter-totter. That gets them used to uneven surfaces. Oh. And uh, this will actually, he'll stand on top of it, and it goes down. A normal horse would not stand for that. Oh, um, weaving in and out of cones, this helps us get used to weaving in and out of cars in traffic. Mm -hmm. um, we, our main goal here is not to touch a cone, not to knock one over. That way we get the horse used to it as well as the rider used to walking through the cars. What's that dummy for? Uh, there's a dummy there. It gets them used to people. A lot of horses come straight off the farms that get donated to us and they're not used to random people just standing places. So or we get them course. going up to the dummy and just getting a feel for what a person is at eye level with them. Uh, the next obstacle is a tarp, uh, just like I said before. The tarp is very loud and noisy, and uh, it can get caught up in their feet, so we got to make sure that they're able to walk on that tarp, another surface that they can get introduced to that we might encounter on the streets. Now, do you have horses that just sometimes don't get used to some of these We things? do, and uh, we'll take, we get donated horses, and for every horse that we get, we've probably tried out 20 of them. Uh, the next pit, um, it's an 
trash pit. When we're working at Steeplechase, there's trash everywhere. So we gotta be used to stepping on all kinds of different bags, bottles, different things that make loud noises under the horse's feet and get them used to that. Uh, the crime scene tape here, he goes through that. Um, that's getting him used to going in different doorways that he can't see all the way through. Oh, okay. Tires again, just like a football player, you gotta walk through the tires. Now I'd have been really impressed if he'd have went like. Well, <laughs> like and he can. A, we can really? get them closer together, and like he can a do that. Mm -hmm. oh, for crying out loud. These are a little closer together, so he'll kind of maneuver those. <gasps> and see how he steps through with all four feet. Horses are really smart, and they know where their feet are. Wow, that is pretty cool. And uh, the last obstacle we have is what we call the Fred Flintstone car. This gets us used to pushing crowds and pushing a fight. Um, he'll demonstrate it by running right into it. Um, it's padded so it doesn't hurt the horse, and it gives him the idea of actually pushing something that has a little resistance. Now, how heavy is that? It's pretty heavy. Um, it'd probably take two or three officers to pick that up. Wow. Now, and this takes about six months to train like a horse that's green? Maybe? It does. It could take anywhere from six months to two years, depending on the horse. Um, they're all Tennessee walking horses, and they all have a good head on their shoulders. However, this is not natural for a normal horse that's right. been out in the field. So we have to reverse their way of thinking, and uh, it can take anywhere from six months to two years. Wow. I just want to clap for them, too. Oh, well, you can. <laughs> Yay! Oh, okay. So now this is the big blow up. Uh, this is the big one. Doll or whatever it is. And horses are very, you know, skittish to objects that you can't predict which way it's going right. to move. Is that it? Woo! It's a great learning tool because mm -hmm. especially in a crowd of you know intoxicated people you don't know what they're going to do or what they're throwing or winging around and that's right and we go to a lot of shopping malls and do different events and if you go to a shopping mall you see these guys out um, saying a sales happening or anything they have to be used to it this is an extreme measure but we want our horses top top of the line ready for anything so again if we can get them to stand there and look at it they're perfect all right well, Officer Edwards, thank you so much for being part of Get to Know Metro. All right. And uh, I want to thank Sergeant Eby over there. Great demonstration. Give him another round of applause. <laughs>Well, I think it's quite amazing that even our furry friends like dogs and horses help us fight crime every day. Thank you for joining us here on Get to Know Metro, and I'd also like to thank Sergeant Eby and the Mounted Patrol.